Hello there, everyone. <laughs> I'm doing a um, body paint today inspired by a do look. It's a hand prompt. Kind of a weekly challenge type thing. I kind of do a bunch of them all at once. I'm kind of making my brows vanish here because I'm going to go for a very tropical fish inspired by first, first the hand prompt, then the fish that you see here, and then also Insomnia Extreme. Uh, she did a mermaid at one point that was um kind of similar to this so i was kind of using that as a little bit of reference but mainly referencing made you looks body paint and then that fish that you see on the screen those are kind of be up the entire time those are the main like references so i'm just kind of starting out with cherry these are both um these are all made you look by paints for the most part except for one mayron paint which is for a light blue but um, taking first cherry, now I'm taking carrot and kind of blending those out on my face um, as well as with sunflower here, which is a yellow color. And then I'm just gonna take a sponge to kind of just further blend those out. I'm trying to keep the red more to the contours of my face as opposed to in the dead center. And let's just kind of more just kind of follow my natural face and try to give my face some shape and then just bring the yellow down on my arms kind of more following what um lex had in the original hand prompt um then i'm just taking a bunch of morphe shadows um to kind of just set and further blend out those sh shades so that way there's a more granulation granular whatever the word is, between the shades, um, just because my brush sometimes doesn't do that, and just to the fact that the, they're not made for this type of paint. <laughs> and then just taking a smaller brush and kind of go in with more details, kind of give myself a little bit more of a button nose. And yeah, so we're going to be pulling in a bunch of elements from the fish, but to do the, to kind of make it more towards Lex's, we're taking out where all of the kind of stripes and like bigger dots are gonna be using a makeup wipe. Not the best to actually take off makeup, especially body paint. I don't actually use this one trying to take off my body paints. Um, I just was using it for this because it just made it easier and easier to control versus using a makeup remover gel. So just a note on that. I don't wanna take off my body paints in the shower if anyone's curious of how I take off my paints, but yeah. That's how I normally do it. I don't do it like this, but it works for what I'm trying to achieve here. Um, so yeah, I'm just carving out where all of the light blue is going to go. So this is, I didn't try doing it like symmetrical between the two sides, just cause not everything is symmetrical in life. So I didn't do symmetry between one side and the other. And I like how it turned out. So yeah, this is the only Mayron paint that I really used in this paint and that's just because Lex doesn't have this color and I didn't want to try figuring out how to blend it and I really wanted that really light blue and I like the one from Mayron. You'll see I'm kind of adding some additional dots and spots as I kind of go around. I think I was looking up um Oh, it was a lawsuit. We were talking about a lawsuit for Baby Yoda because I've been playing a lot of Star Wars lately. So that's kind of what we're talking about. I'm like, why did I make that face? Right, we're talking about a lawsuit between Gremlins and Baby Yoda. Speaking of Baby Yoda, I'll be doing a body paint of that later this week. Or if you guys are watching this in the future, it's probably already up on my channel. So check that out. Um, but yeah, so just going in with this light blue, kind of just everywhere. I really liked how this paint look turned out. I was, as I was going through it, especially in this part, I didn't, I wasn't feeling it. I was like, this is gonna turn out really bad. But I'm like, I had, sometimes you just have to trust the process and a lot of these looks are gonna be trust the process kind of looks. And I was not doing that. Why did I make an S? I just realized I made an S shape on like one of the smaller ones. There's also a bean. What shapes can you find in my magical, <laughs> not my magical, in my tropical fishy? <laughs> There's a bunch of random shapes. Cause I was just, I was just going for it. That's what I get when I was like, just talk with the chat. Sometimes we get random shapes that come out of it. So yeah, just adding some additional dots here and there. 
a lot of dots because the fish the fish has a lot of dots so I was trying to I'm trying to pull those elements in and then we're going to take um, Neptune next this is from major look and just outline every single shape I think I just started off on this one half of my body and then we kind of go to the other side afterwards but we're going to be adding in some shading in those blues just to give them more depth and um, color versus they're really flat like this and I know the fish specifically doesn't have that, but Lex in the original body paint has like her new body paint, that color that's not out yet, um, mixed in with Neptune to kind of create some differences in the thing. So I was just trying to pull that in and I used a teal color from Morphe for that. I'm not saying it's because of Alex, I don't actually, I don't support that individual anymore. So yeah, um, but just going through and finishing up this one half of my face and then I'm gonna add a bunch of teeny little dots also with Neptune I don't remember when I do it specifically but I'm just gonna narrate as I go in my thoughts so kind of overthinking I put a bunch of dots eventually with Neptune but right now I'm just taking some darker blues and black um, just to kind of create those lines that the fish specifically has through my eyelids a lot of this comes off i don't know why the the paint and like makeup was not sticking to my eyelids regardless of the eye primer and it's a new primer so i don't know if it's the primer's fault or just what was going on but like nothing ended up sticking on my eyelids like you'll eventually see it it disappears from my lids but as i said i'm just going to go teal and just add some color and depth um into those light blues just to kind of give it some interest here. Just so it's not like a flat color compared to everything else on my body. Um, once that is done, then I'm working on outlining the other side. I think it was on this side that I started doing the, the mini dots with Neptune. And that was, again, just to make it look closer to the actual tropical fish that we're kind of referencing on. I have no idea what that fish is. I just typed in tropical fish and really liked liked it and I was like that looks really close to the hand prompt so I'm like I'm gonna pull references from this fish as I do this paint yeah here's where I started doing the, the midi dots you know I was doing the outlining okay that was when that happened I couldn't remember I could narrate you know like as like what I'm seeing but nah these are these are just May's random thoughts as May goes back through and rewatches what is what it was it a two two hour two and a half hour stream condensed into ten minutes how long was the stream you're gonna see me look at this live you're not he's watching me do it wait this is only an hour and fifteen this was an hour and fifteen I am sorry this only took me an hour and fifteen minutes if you're wondering that is how long this by pain took. I'm actually surprised. I have no concept of time of how long it takes me to do certain body paints. I constantly think it takes me longer. Like, it, like it's going to take me longer to do than it actually does. And then I'm always like, ah, yeah, this was great. And then other times I'm like, this is going to take me this really short period of time. And it takes me way longer. It's always the ones that take me four hours. I think are going to be like an hour and a half. And the ones that I think are going to be like four hours end up being an hour or two hours. One day I will get, I will understand the concept of time right when I'm doing body painting. Um, anyways, going in right now, I'm adding the white um, into the paint. This is just kind of give the fish like some depth and also to like mimic Major Lux actual body paint because it happened in both of those. I like these new tube tops that I got, but they like to fall off constantly. Not that anyone is really worried about that, but. It happens. And then putting on this new blue wig that I got. It's it's wild. It just did not want to behave. I kept going back and forth. And then I ended up um, adding a corally lip and just some false lashes. But, but yeah, that's basically the final look here. I had a lot of fun um, doing this paint on stream. I've been doing buy paints all week. So if you catch this wall, this is still new. I'll be live all week on Twitch. If not come stop by i do buy paintings every saturday and play video games typically on tuesday through thursdays um on my channel but right now we're just we're taking a break of 
video games for the week, but generally I end up playing um, video games Tuesday through Thursday and then by painting on Saturdays. But it's a lot of fun. You can definitely enjoy it. I'm having a lot of fun doing these these prompts from Made You Look. I'm going to be doing a few more of them over the course of this week and then in the future. But I love you guys. I appreciate you. Subscribe, do the lucky YouTube things, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!